Let's compare the fractions 7 eighths and 5 sixteenths, see which one's greater. So to do that, we could just divide 7 by 8 on a calculator, 5 by 16, get decimals and compare them. That'd tell you if 7 eighths was greater than, less than, or equal to 5 sixteenths. We could also get a common denominator. Right now we have 8 and 16. But if we found a number that both 16 and 8 went into, we had the same denominator, we could just compare the numerator and we'd be done. Let's see, 8 times 2, that would equal 16. And then down here, we already have 16, so let's just keep 5 sixteenths down here. And we can't just multiply the denominator by 2. We need to multiply the numerator by 2 as well. 2 over 2 is 1, so we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 7 times 2, that's 14. And 14 over 16, that's the same as 7 over 8. They're equivalent fractions. So now that we have the same denominator, just compare the numerators. And you can see that 14 is much larger than 5. So 14 sixteenths, that's larger than 5 sixteenths. Since these are equivalent, 7 eighths, that's a lot larger than 5 sixteenths as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.